Good morning, class. Our topic today is ICT-related legal basis, relevance and impact of key Philippine digital laws. Content standard. The learners demonstrate an understanding of ICT-related legal issues. Performance standard. The learners create videos with graphics design in a safe and responsible manner. Learning competency. The learners will discuss current events, reflecting on their own digital citizenship. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, learners are expected to 1. Explain the key concepts of digital citizenship, digital footprints, digital identity, and ICT-related legal bases, including their significance and impact on everyday digital interactions. 2. Analyze real-life scenarios to identify elements of digital citizenship, assess the impact of digital footprints and identities, and apply relevant ICT-related laws to ensure responsible and legal online behavior. And 3. Create informative presentations, digital posters, and reflective journals that demonstrate their understanding of digital citizenship, digital footprints, and ICT-related legal frameworks. Republic Act Number 1084444, Department of Information and Communications Technology Act of 2015, Relevance in Everyday Digital Activities. This law created the Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, which is responsible for planning, developing, and promoting the national ICT development agenda. It ensures that there is adequate infrastructure to support digital activities, including internet access, cybersecurity measures, and ICT services. Asked with promoting digital literacy and ensuring that ICT services are accessible to all Filipinos, thus bridging the digital divide. Protection and Regulation We're Implementing cybersecurity policies and programs to protect users from cyber threats. It works in conjunction with other agencies to ensure the protection of personal data and compliance with data privacy laws. That standards for ICT services and infrastructure to ensure reliability and security. Case Study Free Wi-Fi in public places. The DICT has implemented the free Wi-Fi for all program, providing free internet access in public places such as parks, libraries, and transportation hubs. This initiative promotes digital inclusion and empowers citizens to participate in the digital economy. Two, Republic Act Number 10627, Anti-Bullying Act of 2013, Relevance in Everyday Digital Activities. This law addresses bullying in all its forms, including cyberbullying, which is prevalent in digital spaces such as social media, messaging apps, and online forums. Where it mandates schools to implement policies that prevent and address bullying, including cyberbullying, to create a safe and supportive environment for students. This law addresses bullying in all its forms, including cyberbullying, which is prevalent in digital spaces such as social media, messaging apps, and online forums. Protection and Regulation Schools are required to establish clear reporting mechanisms for bullying incidents, ensuring that victims can report incidents safely. Schools must provide intervention programs to support both victims and perpetrators of bullying, promoting behavioral change and conflict resolution. The law encourages parental involvement in addressing bullying, fostering a collaborative approach to protecting students. Case Study Cyberbullying Incident in Schools A high school student reported being bullied on social media by classmates. The school, following the Anti-Bullying Act, conducted an investigation, provided counseling to the victim, and implemented disciplinary actions against the perpetrators. This intervention helped restore a safe learning environment and highlighted the importance of addressing cyberbullying proactively. Scenario 
The Misunderstood Photo Sarah, a high school student, posts a photo on her Instagram account during a weekend party with friends. In the background of the photo, there are some students drinking from red cups, which are commonly associated with alcoholic beverages, although the cups actually contain soda. Sarah captions the photo, crazy night with the best people, hashtag party hard. Three. Republic Act Number 10173, Data Privacy Act of 2012. Relevance in Everyday Digital Activities. This law protects personal data collected by both public and private entities, ensuring that individuals' privacy is respected in digital transactions and activities. For it mandates organizations to obtain consent from individuals before collecting, processing, or sharing their personal data and to be transparent about how the data will be used. Protection and Regulation Our individuals have the right to access, correct, and delete their personal data, as well as to object to its processing. Organizations are required to notify affected individuals and the National Privacy Commission NPC, in the event of a data breach. The law imposes penalties on organizations that fail to comply with data privacy requirements, ensuring accountability. Case Study Data Breach Incident A major telecommunications company experienced a data breach that exposed the personal information of millions of customers. The NPC conducted an investigation and required the company to implement corrective measures including enhancing their cybersecurity protocols and compensating affected customers. This case underscores the importance of robust data protection measures and the role of the Data Privacy Act in safeguarding personal information. 4. Republic Act No. 8293 Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines Relevance in Everyday Digital Activities This law protects intellectual property rights, including copyrights, trademarks, and patents, in digital content such as software, music, videos, and written works. It ensures that creators are compensated for their work and that their rights are respected in digital platforms and online transactions. Protection and Regulation the law includes provisions to combat digital piracy, ensuring that unauthorized copying and distribution of protected content are penalized. Protection and Regulation It provides guidelines for licensing agreements and fair use, balancing the rights of creators with the public's access to information and content. Protection and Regulation the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines, IPOPHL, is responsible for enforcing IP laws and addressing violations through legal and administrative actions. Case Study Online Piracy Crackdown, IPOPHL launched a campaign against websites that distribute pirated content, resulting in the shutdown of several illegal streaming sites. This action protected the rights of content creators and highlighted the importance of